house of Versailles shall be the heart of our kingdom, with gardens of exquisite and matchless beauty. Heaven shall be here. It's a very obviously feminist take on a love story, and then it's an, a, a man inheriting a feminist point of view is an interesting piece of chemistry to me. There's a hat now, gentlemen. Who is this person? That's Madame de Barra. I liked the fact that it was an incredibly modern relationship between a man and a woman in a 17th century world. Yeah, she is the little bit of chaos in it, um, but at the same time, she's the bit of freedom. Um, and, and ultimately what it's about is each taking from each other. This part is entirely original to myself. You see, it fits onto this end of your plan. Now you can see the extent of the enterprise. The demands of this script were huge, and the budget was not. So it's a kind of, um, you know, you're, you're relying on magicians, especially in the production design and costume design department, to, to turn it into reality. I'm used to all this. You must adapt like a well-trained plant. Madame de Barra has certainly thrilled Andre here. I'm glad. Good man. You know, making an independent movie is very much about how people do the sums, and um, so if you can take fee to actor playing Louis XIV zero, <laughs> that helps to do the sums to start the film. Monsieur de la Cantony? Madame Sabine de Barra. It's a beautifully written scene with Kate, and so there was a pleasure in doing that. But actually, my memory of it is of the nightmare of shooting in England when the wind changes, because we just had airplanes every 30 seconds shooting that long scene. Um, so the poor sound men were coming out of the bushes with their headphones on, just going... <laughs> We do, because it's going every 30 seconds. Nightmare. If you wish to be alone, I, I could come back. No, no, no. I find you are the very company I need today. I can suggest to any wannabe director, try and get Kate Winslet. She shows up on the set very prepared. She knows exactly what the world is that she's doing. She's done the homework. And then she sort of kind of drops the work and uh, she's uh, available and uh, listening to her fellow actors. So you get her um, very prepared and very free. Master? Why me? These gardens should be large enough to embrace voices other than my own. <laughs> 